day 238. It's really been 238 days. That makes it sometime in March, I think. Not that it matters anymore. This house is the fourth one I've been to since I left Elaine and the kids, and I think that I can start to make my way back to them. There was no way we could travel without the food and the medicine that I found out here. Or the gun. I keep reminding myself we don't have any other options. I can't let anything happen to them. And we're not safe out here. There are too many dead walkers to not risk heading south. If we stay, sooner or later, they'll decide they're hungry again. That was it. He didn't even have time to sign his name. It must have been right around then when the dead walker showed up. When I showed up. I didn't want to do it, but he put me in a situation where I had no choice. When someone tries to point a gun at you, you don't assume they don't intend to pull the trigger. At least, that's what I keep telling myself. When it comes right down to it, I killed him because he had food. And an easy means of getting it. And I knew he wasn't just going to give it to me. I knew he was going to try to defend it. And I knew what was going to happen when he tried. I wasn't even going hungry. I just now knew what it was like to go hungry. And that scared me. The world changed after the bombs dropped. Or perhaps it just showed its true colors. It was no war. It was a mass suicide, engineered by people who thought they knew what they wanted. They got the rapture they were looking for. I was immune to their poison, but I only survived because I was immune to their weapon. Perhaps if there had been more like me, the bombs would have never dropped in the first place, and there would be no dead walkers. No one like me. Dead walking. I don't know if there was really someone who said it first, or if we just collectively understood that it was the only word that could describe what it looked like. The cold stare, the quiet footfalls, the way they walk right past you without a word, unless they think you might have something they want. The way they can toss aside their humanity until something reminds them of just what they've forsaken. To dead walk is to live without soul to breathe without reason. Everyone has to find their own purpose, and stumbling in the dark looking for it is just as important as having found it. <laughs>